Number nine, suppose two children push horizontally but in exactly opposite directions and on a third child in a wagon. The first child exerts a force of 75 newtons, the second a force of 90 newtons, friction is 12 newtons, and the mass of the third child plus the wagon is 23 kilograms. All right, letter A, what is the system of interest if the acceleration of the child in the wagon is to be calculated? Well, if that's what we want to calculate, then that is the system of interest. The child in the wagon, that is to be calculated. Okay, letter A is done. Letter B, draw a free body diagram. Okay, so let's just draw a little picture here. So it, it appears that we have a child in a lopsided cart. Okay, so here's the child, right? So this child in the cart, right, um, has a mass, as it said over here in the problem, mass of the third child plus the wagon is 23 kilograms. So this whole thing weighs 23 kilograms. Now there is a second child. Now it doesn't matter how I organize them, okay? Uh, but let's say there's a second child now pushing the wagon this way, okay? And the force that this child is exerting it doesn't matter if I do 75 or 90, let's just do uh, 90. All right, so this is the 90 Newton child. And then there is a second child now on the opposite side of the card, it says, pushing in the exact opposite direction and they're applying a now 75.0 uh, Newton force. Let me just leave all the point zeros out. Okay, so now, then it also tells me something about friction, but let me stop here for a second, okay? If I now had to consider uh, like let's say a free body diagram where I can use my axes, okay, to represent this. Let me do it in black. All right, so here I have one child in red now pushing this way, right, on the uh, cart, okay, applying 90 newtons. I have another child then pushing this way, right, with a value of 75, 75 newtons. Now, if I ask you, forget about friction, which way is the car going to move? Well, it's going to move to the right, correct? Why? Because there's a greater force, okay? So since there's a, when I sum these two forces up, since there is a net positive force, that's the sum of all the forces in the x direction, I therefore then will have an acceleration in that same direction in the positive x direction. All right, easy. Now, we have to think that way in order to figure out where and how should I put now the force of friction the 12 newtons, because remember friction, right? Friction opposes motion. It's relative, all right? So what I mean by that is you have to know what way the object is moving to in order to place friction in appropriately. So if the object is moving to the right, that means friction will point to the left, okay? So now I know how to plug this in. I'm just gonna put it down here all right, just below it so we can see, all right, but it's starting at the origin, all right? And now that force, it told us, was 12 newtons. Okay, so now when I incorporate now the net force, right, how do I sum this up? Remember that everything pointing to the left here is going to be negative, okay? So if I wanna now talk about the sum of all of my forces in the x direction, right? I would have to then take, let's say, the force of child one, plus the force of child two, right? And then plus the force of friction, right? Force of friction. Okay, so let's do that. So the sum of all the force in the x direction will equal, it'll be 90 newtons, 90 newtons, plus negative 75, right? And then plus negative 12. So the sum of all the forces in the x direction now uh, will be, just take out your calculator, 90 minus 75 minus 12 is equal to 3. So there's a net force of 3 newtons, and it's positive, so that means it's net force to the right, which we should have anticipated. Okay? So now that I know that, I can now calculate the acceleration. How? Well, I know this formula, remember? The sum of the force in the x direction will equal the mass of the object that's accelerating multiplied by the acceleration of that object in that direction. So this is 3 newtons. Okay, really I should have said probably 3.0 for significant figures. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So then the mass, what's the mass of interest? As we talked about the mass of interest that we're trying to find 
or that we're trying to calculate the acceleration of is the cart plus the child, which they told us was 23 kilograms. All right, so this is 23 kilograms, and now the acceleration is what I'm looking for. So simply divide out the 23. So the acceleration of that child in the cart is going to be 3 divided by 23 and 0 0.13. So we get 0 0.13 meters, meters per second squared. That is the acceleration, and it's positive because it's pointing in the same direction as the net force. Okay, so that takes care of letter C. And they said, what would the acceleration be if the friction were 15? So let's not overthink this. Here's the force of friction, right? Pretend it's not there. The object is still moving to the right. Therefore, force of friction will oppose it to the left. Now, instead of this being 12, it's 15. So fine. What happens when we put 15 into the calculations here? What does the net force become? It becomes zero, right? So the sum of all the forces now are going to be zero. And then I have now zero being equal to 23 times my acceleration. So what does acceleration have to be? Exactly zero. Okay, so that's what happens when the force of friction is 15 newtons. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.